This rejuvenating sequence designed by Cora Wen will refresh, revitalize, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Choose a place to practice where you'll be warm and uninterrupted. Have a bolster nearby. Extend your legs and place your hands next to your hips in Dandasana, staff pose. Sit quietly for a few moments and begin to follow the rhythm of your breath. From staff pose, you'll take a variation of the seated twist Bharadvajasana, Bharadvaja's twist. Bring your right foot to your left inner thigh and take your left foot behind you. If your left sitting bone lifts higher than your right, place a blanket under your right sitting bone to balance your pelvis. Reach through your toes and keep the tops of your ankles open. Twist from your belly taking your left hand to the outside of your right leg and your right hand behind you. Turn your head to the left and breathe freely. Drop your weight steadily through the root of your pelvis. As you compress your abdominal organs, breathe into your back body, side ribs, and chest. Slow down your breath Feel your energy becoming more focused. Release the twist and extend your legs to return to staff pose. Rest your left foot inside your right inner thigh and bend your right knee to place your right foot behind you. Use the blanket beneath your left sitting bone if your right hip lifts higher than your left. Keep the tops of your ankles open. Turn your belly to the left and place your right hand outside your left leg. Place your left hand behind your pelvis to support your twist. Turn your head to the right. Allow your breath to move freely throughout your body as you twist. Bring your attention to your entire spine, feeling the shape of the twist. As you twist, move your awareness even more deeply inside. Feel the balance in your body and breath. Release back to center and unfold your legs. You'll have an opportunity to soak up the refreshing effects of this twist in this next pose, a supported chest opener. Place a bolster lengthwise on your mat and sit with your pelvis at one end of the bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use a few neatly folded blankets or a large firm pillow. Bend your knees, take your feet hip distance apart and lie back. Feel your spine, shoulders, and neck completely supported and release the weight of your torso into that support. Lift your arms overhead, clasp your elbows with either hand, and rest your forearms back. If that arm position puts strain on your shoulders, open your arms out to the side. Encourage the front of your torso to open by relaxing the effort in your arms and shoulders. Feel your mind slowing down and your body and breath opening up. Take in this relaxation and enjoy the slower rhythm of your breath.
To release, roll to one side of the bolster. Place your hands on the floor and press up. Let your head follow your torso. Come forward onto your hands and knees. You'll continue to open your front body in Salamba Supta Virasana, supported reclining hero pose. Sit in front of the bolster with your thighs together and your feet just outside your hips. If you feel strain in your knees, sit up on a block. Place your hands on the floor behind you and lie back. Let your knees open naturally and release your arms by your side. If you feel any discomfort in your lower back, place a folded blanket or two on the bolster to give yourself more support. Feel free to close your eyes to deepen your sense of relaxation. Rest your spine on the support as you let your thighs release toward the floor. Expand your chest slowly with your inhalations. Keep a steady rhythm as you exhale. Feel the purifying effect of your breath as your mind becomes calm and more quiet. To come up, press your hands into the floor and lift up through your chest. Come onto all fours and extend your legs forward into staff pose to stretch out the backs of your legs. Take a simple cross-legged position for Agni Stambhasana, fire log pose. Lift your right ankle onto your left knee and shift your left foot forward under your right knee, stacking both shins like two fire logs. If the sensation in your knees or hips is too intense, or your right knee and thigh resist releasing toward the floor, go back to a simple cross-legged position with your right shin in front. Place your hands on your thighs and take a few long, slow breaths as you wake up the energy in your hips. For a deeper stretch in your outer hips and inner thighs, walk your hands forward onto the floor and slowly fold. Let your breath move freely into your hips, thighs, and entire torso. Focus your attention on your breath as you witness the sensations in your thighs and pelvis. Relax any resistance in your mind. Keep that calm quiet as you deepen your release into your hips. Inhale to lift the torso back to center. Release your right foot from the top of your left knee and unfold your legs for the second side. Take your left ankle on top of your right knee and shift your right foot forward, stacking both shins. Take the simple cross-legged position with your left shin in front of the right if the fire log pose gives you too much sensation or your left leg does not release. Rest your hands on your thighs. Ease your mind into your breath as you watch the sensation in your hips. To work more deeply in your outer hips and inner thighs, take your hands to the floor and fold forward.
Encourage your breath to open and flow freely. Continue to release the tension in your hips. Inhale to come up. Uncross and stretch out your legs. Come onto all fours for Salamba Adho Mukha Svanasana, supported downward facing dog. Place the end of the bolster beneath your breastbone. Pull your navel in toward your spine and lift up and back into down dog. Rest your forehead on the bolster. Feel free to add a folded blanket to the bolster or even remove the bolster and use a blanket instead in order to create maximum length in your neck. Lift your tailbone away from your head as you stretch the backs of your legs and release your heels toward the floor. Relax the skin of your forehead as you anchor down through your hands and feet. Lift through your hip creases, tilt your pelvis forward, and release your spine freely. From down dog, step your right foot forward between your hands and pivot onto your feet into a wide straddle for Salamba Prasarita Padottanasana, supported wide-legged standing forward bend. Adjust your bolster so that you can rest the crown of your head on its support, using folded blankets for more height if you need them. Step your heels out a little so your feet are slightly pigeon-toed. Lift your belly toward your spine and soften the backs of your legs as you find balance through the left and the right sides of your body. Relax your shoulders and arms and allow your abdominal organs to receive an internal massage from the forward fold. Keep an even press through the inner and outer edges of your feet. Balance your weight through your legs and feet and lengthen the back of your neck. Relax your eyes, temples, and the base of your skull. To release, lift your head, pivot on your heels, walk your torso back over your right leg, Move your head support and then step back to down dog. Next, you'll take a variation of Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, to invigorate your organs and spine and boost your vitality. Step your left foot behind and to the outside of your right foot. Bend your right knee and lift your right heel as you twist, reaching your left heel toward the floor. Extend your left fingertips toward the front left corner of your mat, lifting your palm to increase the stretch, but keep your fingertips grounded. Turn the left side of your belly up and peek under your left armpit. Gently fire up your breath and invigorate through your arms and legs. Enjoy this deep stretch as you twist and balance your weight simultaneously. Feel your body regain its vigor as you wake up and recharge your energy. Release the twist, taking your left foot on the floor next to your right foot for a few centering breaths in down dog. Mm-hmm. 
Place your right foot to the outside of your left foot for the second side. Bend your left knee, lift your left heel and twist as you shift your right heel toward the floor. Reach your right fingertips to the front right corner of your mat and lift your palm off the floor to work into a deeper stretch. You might feel like you want to lift your right fingertips but keep them on your mat to extend the twist. Turn and open your belly to the right, gazing beneath your right armpit. Allow your strength to build in your arms and legs as you stretch deeply across your belly and spine. Twist and balance weaving your breath throughout your body and encouraging openness in your mind. To come out, unwind your spine and bring your feet parallel to one another to return to down dog in center. Lower your knees to the floor and rest your pelvis on your heels in Balasana, child's pose. Reconnect with your breath as you slow its rhythm. You'll take Salamba Balasana, supported child's pose, to wind down and integrate the energy of your practice. Inhale to come up. Bring your big toes close to one another and sit on your heels with your knees wide. Place the bolster in front of your belly. Fold forward and release your torso onto the bolster. Turn your head to rest your right cheek. If your chest does not reach the support, layer folded blankets building up the height until you are held by the bolster. And gently round your spine and release your weight down. Allow your torso to rest completely on the bolster. Draw your breath more fully into your back body. Inhale, lift and turn your head to rest your left cheek on the bolster. Let the shape of the pose gently stretch your lower back. Feel the release throughout your body as your mind settles into quiet repose. To come up, lift your torso and move the bolster forward slightly. You'll come into Salamba Bharadvajasana, supported Bharadvaja's twist. Sit with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and your right hip snug up against the bolster. Take both knees and shins to the left, resting your legs on the floor and your left ankle in the arch of your right foot. Lift your sternum as you twist your belly towards the right and lay onto the support. Rest your right cheek on the bolster or continue the twist by turning your head to the right and resting on your left cheek. Be careful to stretch modestly in this strong twist. You're likely to feel the full effects of this stretch the day after you practice. Center your awareness on the function of the twist. Feel the compression of your organs and soften your belly as you twist. Relax your eyes. Move your breath freely into the shape of your body. On an inhalation, press both hands into the floor and lift your torso up to gently unwind your spine. Take a moment to breathe here to feel your body come to center. For the second side, turn your body so your left hip is up against the bolster with your knees bent and feet flat to the floor. 
Take your legs to the right and rest your right ankle in your left arch. Keep the weight of your pelvis down towards the floor. Lift up through your chest, twist your belly left, and then lower your torso onto the bolster. Rest your left cheek on the bolster or deepen the twist by turning your head to the left. Move slowly and watch the sensations in your belly, torso, and back. Focus on unfolding the twists slowly with your breath. Observe your mental balance as you move your attention more deeply inside. On an inhalation, lift your torso off the bolster and take a comfortable seat to breathe. Notice how the slow and steady movement in this practice wakes up the entire body to feeling revitalized and refreshed. Now you'll integrate the benefits of this practice Relaxation and rejuvenation in Salamba Shavasana, supported corpse pose. Extend your legs in front of you, placing the bolster under your knees, and lie back. Let your legs and feet fall apart from each other naturally, and feel your entire body release all effort. Soften your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and even your skin, letting the organs of perception dissolve. Listen to your breath to bring your awareness inward. Rest in that awareness. Feel your body, mind, and spirit completely at ease. 